Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is apply foundation. And the foundation I'm using is Ila Masca's newest foundation. It is called uh, Skin Base. And I'm going to apply my foundation with this Real Techniques brush. It is a pretty big brush, but um, I like it when I apply this kind of foundation because it helps me blend faster and easier. So I've applied a bit of foundation on my brush. And as a first thing, I'm going to stipple the product all over my face. And once you've done that, you can start blending everything in. And for my under eyes, I'm going to apply Garnier's Caffeine Roll-On. And you can use your fingers to dab the product under your eyes. I prefer brush. And I usually switch between the Garnier Roll-On and the YSL Touche Clot, which I love also. But at the moment, I'm using this one. And then without adding any other product on the brush, what I like to do is just um, use the brush around my nose area, which is the area where I find that the foundation brush can't really reach to apply foundation. So that's what I do, you know, just blend everything in place, make sure that everything is even. And also a bit around my mouth. And for my eyebrows, I usually use this uh, pencil by Dior powder eyebrow pencil and the color is in sable and I like it because it has the pencil on one side and the spoolie on the other side. I usually don't change the shape of my eyebrows I just fill in the gaps. Then I'm gonna set everything in place with Max Select Press Powder. And to do that I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush by Sephora. And then I'm going to apply the powder on my T-zone and I'm going to leave my cheeks unpowdered because I intend to use a cream blush. Then onto the eyes, I am going to apply this black paint pond by MAC and it is called Black Ground. And I'm going to apply it all over my lid. And the reason why I'm going to use a black uh, base is because um, I'm going to apply a pigment after this. And I feel that with black, the color really, really pops and stands out much, much more than a more neutral paint pot. So yeah. And in general, it's always good to use a base or a paint pot because it prevents your eyeshadow from creasing. How many times have we heard this in each tutorial? There you go. And you don't need to be neat with this. The messier, the better. And to apply my paint pot, I'm going to use this brush by Sigma. It is the SS252 and it is a flat shader brush with synthetic bristles, which I think uh, works better with cream products. I'm applying most of the product on my lids. And remember, you do not need to be neat with this because everything will come in place later. So yeah, once that's done and you have something like that, really not difficult to achieve something like this, we can go on to uh, eyeshadow. Now for eyeshadow, I opted for two beautiful pigments by Ilamasca, obviously. And the first one is this pigment by Ilamasca called Involve. And it is a very bright uh, purple pigment. And another pigment we are going to use uh, is this one called Static. And we're going to use this in our inner corner. And it is a beautiful white pigment with a lilac reflex. And I always like to use this pigment with uh, the Involve uh, purple pigment because I think that the lilac reflex with the purple pigment uh, works very, very uh, beautifully. And I'm going to use this E25 uh, brush by Sigma. 
when working with pigments I like to dab the product on the lid and then blend it out. And for blending I'm taking my Max 224 brush and make sure it's clean and just do the as Juicy Tuesday likes to call it, over the rainbow motion. Just like that. Then I'm gonna take a MAC pencil brush. It is called 219. And I'm gonna use this with the white uh, Ilamasca static pigment for my inner corners. Okay, so once you apply that static pigment in your inner corner this is what you should get and it makes so much of a difference it just captures so much light and brings so much brightness to your look it's really I mean I love it I really like this pigment as an inner corner highlighter because it's really amazing and after that we can move on to eyeliner and mascara for eyeliner I'm gonna use this gel black eyeliner by Inglot and it's the number 77. And I'm going to use that gel uh, eyeliner with an angled brush also by Inglot, this one. And for my lower waterline I'm going with Max Smolder eye pencil. And for mascara today I'm going to choose Benefits Their Real Mascara. So yeah, that's pretty much all for the eyes. I hope you like it. Nothing difficult in terms of techniques or whatnot. I just feel that sometimes one or two colors can really, really make a beautiful and effective look. And now we can move on to um, blush. For blush, I'm gonna use a cream blush by La Masca and it is called Libido. It is this very, very dark and intense red color. And uh, when I first saw this, I actually saw this in one of uh, little Kiva's videos. She, like me, loves Ilamasca. And uh, she's the one that made me discover this product. And a little goes a long way. Don't be intimidated by this very uh, strong red color because applied gently, uh, the finish on your face is just beautiful. You have like a very natural uh, flush on your cheeks and that's amazing. And if you're afraid you got too much product on your brush, which might be my case, just dab it slightly on your hand so you get most of the product off. Jeez, thanks god I did that. Bit too much. So yeah, that's the effect you get. As I said, a very natural flush despite that strong color in the pan. This is what you get. Very nice. And then last but not least, we can finally move on to our lips. So for lips, I am gonna go with this lip gloss by La Masca called Bella Donna. This is how it looks like. So yeah, dolls, that completes the look. I hope you like it. Um, I like it a lot. I really like working with purple colors because, uh, you know, they always say purple looks good on brown eyes and it is true. And uh, yeah, I hope you like the fact that I tried to use uh, mostly products of one brand. This time it was Ila Masca. I obviously don't have every single item by Ila Masca, but I think the main products like, you know, foundation, eyeshadows, lip gloss and blush, which are the, you know, main features of a look were Ila Masca. And I'm a big fan of Villa Masca products and I will definitely buy more of them, more stuff. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!